May this be an oasis of love in the middle of a storm. May June 2nd, 2017, 1.42 a.m. be the moment a symbol of revival garnet form. Dates that possess memories holding uneasiness seem to be my greatest finds. Why did you believe in me? <laughs> it felt like I was asked to explain how I breathe. Then I remembered what comes natural isn't always what's normal. How that aspiration has us neglecting the beauty of submission, clenching this whirlwind of damage called regular guised as a warm embrace. What is a loss but a symbol of an aim worth fighting for? What is getting lost but proof of sheer will to embark on a journey or heartbreak and nerves, album and performance born? Rough experience, great book. Comfort torn, awkward moments, beautiful friendship defined. The feelings that can't always be captured and shined. Why do so many not find process aesthetically pleasing? To me, those feelings like my soul, like I'm the earth and the sun is rising. I love and believe in their power like the universe believes in the stars it's enclosing. Like bees believe in the flowers they pollinate. Like trees believe in us and our weight. They don't know how to go astray. I remember as a little girl, I felt neither did my mother. The first fashion icon I ever knew. Enamored by the way she walked in her womanhood like Onten, head up, shoulders back, face with the light of endurance glistening. She walked with grace like she knew her body was home, willing to embrace a new culture, ignoring beauty trends. Submitting to the truth of who she was like it was the only thing she knew how to pray for. She taught me how to pray. I remember as she finished, she told me this was a time I could talk to God personally. Ask or thank him for things, honestly. I couldn't believe this power. I would sit alone and pray for every issue or good thing I could ever imagine. How are people able to be answers to prayers? I asked. My father always said we could be by focus and purpose. He made a calling or mission sound like a superpower. What makes you who you are? Is it snatching scars for fabric out of closets you couldn't reach to drape together as clothing? Lisa Landry and Raven Baxter allowing you to think you could be whatever you chose? Hallways turned into runways, diary journals turned into doodle pad for days, body becoming canvas to express a style? Learning your mother isn't the only one who can teach lessons Cause you get older and learn that the world fights to teach girls like you lessons Lessons like how to make fear the filter under which you believe what's possible Like how to be so knee deep in the fear not being conscious that you're even scared Like how to give up artistic dreams for sensibility and practicality Like how to get to events and change to fit in places that don't feel like home Like how to wear skinny jeans so tight they actually hurt just because they're in Like how to desire attention you don't actually want just because it's in like lying to yourself about how much you wish who you really were was just in everyone has their own yellow brick road finding it and staying on the right path is the hardest part generally what is a journey i mean is it being teased for dressing differently is it that same difference mean you're attracting power consequently is it starting with what you got is it feeling like yourself? Is it feeling like yourself? Is it feeling like loving you ain't as complicated as you felt? Is it having a belief so deep in where you're going that it don't even matter how embarrassing your start may be? Is it feeling like you ain't gotta be the cool kid cause you got purpose free? Is it only applying to the school you want to go? Competitions that make you grow? Fashion show, internship, homesickness? Is it learning how to balance goals, starting a business? Is it travel? Is it pain? Is it stopping? Rerouting? Is it standing? Bending? Kneeling? I have been creating stuff for years and the work that always appears to mean the most is the stuff where the creation process felt like a conversation with God. I want to have a conversation with God here. I don't want this content to simply be about me because I think to create means to be using my hands and my body my skill and my talent as a means to embody content that the creator desires to see 
Because he created me, what was once known as my life as a fashion design student vlog series can become a manifestation of something greater. Yes, it's about me pursuing my dreams. Yes, it's about fashion school. Yes, it's about college overall, but it has other themes. It's about the fashion industry as a whole. It's about shifting the status quo. It's about innovating. It's about standing up for something you believe in it's about young womanhood and all those things that come with it you're fashioning the life you desire so welcome to this series welcome to my channel i hope clip by clip bit by bit you can see the opulence of fashion the beauty and elegance of style the inside scoop on the fashion industry and honestly the story of a little girl who just wanted to dress people who wanted to make people feel like they matter this is an introduction for some a reintroduction for others, and for all of us, a new beginning. This is Fashion Design Life. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's shining the light in the camera.